So, hi, Shard Timers. This video is, is titled, uh, Things I Wish I Knew Years Ago. I just made that title up. Things I Wish I Knew Years Ago. I would like to share this with y'all. This is some wealthy and abundant information from my heart, from my soul, from my head, my brain, to you, to yours, okay? First thing I want to say is, uh, where does it go? Okay, here we go. If anybody makes you feel less than worthy, run. Now, stay tuned to the rest of this video because I'm going to give you the acronym for RUN. Are you in? Okay, so hold on, just hold on because that I'm saving that. Now, if anybody makes you feel less than worthy, run. I understand if you're a child, and I understand if you have nobody else to depend on but that person or those people, whoever it is that's making you feel bad, unworthy. I'm not going to get into details because only you and God know what, you, what you're dealing with or what you're going through. All I can do is give you my lived experience and what I wish I knew years ago. I'm hoping to change your life path and your destiny because of this right here, this video. I am. Because if somebody had told me and I was wise enough to hear them and listen to them, my life could have turned out differently as well. I would have been further along, but now that I'm at this point, this pivotal point in my life, I realized that I had to go through what I went through. If I hadn't went through what I went through, I would not be sitting here right now sharing with you this information. What I know from lived experiences. Okay, so at least I can help somebody. I believe I can. Okay, so things I wish I knew years ago, I don't, they're not even no order in no order right now. Okay, so what I have here is don't stay in that situation longer than you have to. Learn the lesson and move on so you can graduate to the next level and pass this test. That whatever you're going through, it, consider it a test. You have to pass it or you will get that test again through a different face, a different body, a different person, or a different situation or a different circumstance, whatever it is to you. Um... Come on, y'all. You got this. That's what I put here. Don't stay in that situation longer than you have to. Here we go. Let's do it. This is just going to be a, qu a quick a quick video. Now, I did say if anybody makes you feel less than worthy, run, right? Okay, so R stands for realize. Realize, number one, that you're worthy. Realize that somebody doesn't know your worth. Realize that they, him, her whoever it is in your situation, your job, your boss, whoever, whatever the situation, it's your situation. Realize that you're worthy. Realize that they know that they think you're not or they know you are, but they're not letting you know what they know because they see that, especially if it's your employer, your boss, or your, God forbid, your mama. It happens, y'all. It happens. Your enemies are those of your own household. Who fire. Oh, that's fire. Okay. So, number one, uh, the R stands for realize. Realize this stuff. Realize it, okay? You got to realize. You got to recognize it. Become aware. It don't feel right. Somebody ain't treating you right. They talking crap behind you. Matter of fact, they talking right in your face. And you both sit up there and say, oh. You know, they want to they wanna rise out of you. They want to fight you. They want to fight you. Anyways, 
uh, realize the run is uh, the run. The R is for realize. The U is for unknown. Step into the unknown. Do it scared. Do it anyway. If you f you feel the fear, but you do it anyway. So stepping into the unknown and getting out of the or, the mundane um, um, routine way of doing things or your comfort zone. Like I said, some people may not be able to leave their job. Mm -hmm. Some people may not be able to. Uh, leave their homes or their comfort zone or their or the person that is making them feel unworthy for whatever reason but you start making a plan you start asking you have not because you ask not so start asking how do I get out this situation help me get out this situation I know it's situation and I know it's situation I say situation because it's fun to me this is for entertainment purposes. Okay. Step into the unknown. You don't know what's on the other side of that door. You know what's over there. Because you feel unworthy. You feel bad. They're treating you bad. But you don't know what's on the other side of the unknown. The, the other side of the mountain, so to speak. Because it's going to be hell to get up out of that situation. That's what I do know. Okay. So, realize your worth. Realize when somebody's not treating you bad. I'm trying to, uh, yeah. Realize when they're treating you good, actually. When, realize when somebody's treating you bad and, and, and making you feel unworthy, okay? And then step into the unknown. What's on the other side of that situation? What's, what's on the other side of you moving, getting up out of there? Oh, I don't want to hurt them, but they hurt you. Bump all that. You got to get some backbone. You got to get some, build up some self-esteem, some self-confidence, and do the damn thing. Uh, the N. R, realize you is for unknown. N is never look back. Never? No, never. Never, ever, 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 ever look back. Because it's a little mirror, like this whole laptop window right here is my front shield. It's my front windshield. Why is it called a shield? Because it protects you. When you look ahead, when you step into the unknown, you have protection. But you got to have faith. The opposite of faith is fear. You want to stay in that situation, in that comfort zone? Stay right there. Because you're exuding your fear. Okay? If you want to exude your faith and build up that faith in yourself. Yes. Yes. In God. Because where God is in you. So you're building up your faith in God, but God is in you. So God in me, rise up. Rise up. Show me who I am. Show me my potential. Ooh. Ooh. It's getting hot in here. And I'm, mm, 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 I am, mm, 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 Ooh, ooh. I'm going to have to rewind this. What I do sometimes in these videos, I rewind them. And I'll be cracking. <laughs> I'll be cracking myself up for real. Never look back, y'all. If you look back, you're going to get snatched back. If you look back, things... Things ain't going to turn out good. Because if you step into the unknown, damn, it's such a freeing, F-R-E-E-I-N-G, freeing experience when you step into the unknown. When you sell all your stuff or leave all your stuff and just bounce. Just go somewhere, pick on the map. You, I used to have this round globe when I was a little, little, well, younger. <laughs> Not little, but little, but yeah, younger. And I, I, I closed my eyes. I was in my 20s. I, I closed my eyes and I, I, I put my hand around that round ball like it was a crystal ball. And I said, where am I going? Wherever my, fa my, my index finger land on, that's where I'm going. Bam. And that's what I did. And it was Philadelphia. I sure did go to Philadelphia and found me an AA group. <laughs> found me a little cheap hotel. 
in the AA group, and I was just, and I've been on my own air since. I've been on my own, rolling solo. Rolling so that's the good thing about when your kids get grown. Girl, bye. I am done. We, in summary, have said things I wish I knew years ago. And we said, if anybody makes you feel less than worthy, run. Um, don't stay in that situation no longer than you have to. Learn the lesson and move on so you won't have to repeat it. You will graduate to the next level and you will pass the test, stepping into the unknown. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, the R is for realize your worth. The U is for stepping to the unknown. And the N is to never look back. Because when you look back, your foundation going to crack. I wish you power, resilience, and I wish you courage and strength. And right now, I'm gonna do it again, y'all. These are my these are energetic hands, healing hands. And you can put your hands right here on mine right now and just receive healing right now. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, okay? Whether you go church, whether you're religious or not, none of that matters right now, but this is what I do. Because this is not my power. This is source, divine source power coming and exuding through me right now. Take it. Take it. If you believe it, he said, be it done unto you as you believe. And I offer you healing right now. And I say, touch these hands. Touch these hands on your screen right now. If you got one hand, touch it with one hand. And ask for what you want. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. Put, put your hands on right here. What do you want? Your soul is listening. God lives inside of you. I know somebody believes. I know somebody receives. I know somebody believes, and you received because of your belief. Right now. I will see y'all later. God is doing a new thing. Ooh, he's doing a new thing, y'all. Might as well be me. I'm taking it. Use me. Use me till you use me up. I'm just a vessel being used. This is the platform that God said... Take charge of. He said have dominion over. He said be strong and be of good courage. And that's it. That's all I got. The title of this video is Things I Wish I Knew Years Ago. My Shard Thomas. It is 13, 316 on the clock. 1, 3, and 1, 6.